So today we're talking about the third way in which racism sparks off trauma for ethnic minorities, according to Dr. Shelley Harrell from Pepperdine University in the States. So this, these are daily racist micro aggressions or micro stresses as she refers to them but I talk about these all the time oh you speak very good English huh. you're very confident for a black woman oh can I touch your hair um oh did you go to university what these communicate is that you are unwelcome you are invisible or you're incapable of performing well they happen on a daily basis and often ethnic minorities go through life with blinkers on trying to bat away these microaggressions because they're very aware of them they happen all the time and they know why they're being said so Again, that evokes various emotions. Oh, I should have said something because that was so rude of so-and-so to say that. But if I say something, they're going to think I'm calling them racist. And so that can then lead them to, lead ethnic minorities to, minorities to feel stressed, feel anger. And all of this is traumatic. And that's what we're getting at. There's many different ways in which um, racism evokes that. And microaggressions are just unfortunately, unfortunately one way in which that happens.